Hey guys, Tad here from Attack of the Killer Podcast with a new video update. As always, thank you for subscribing to Attack of the Killer Podcast. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Thanks for supporting the Patreon. Thanks for watching these YouTube videos. We do it for you. So I'm just going to go right to it. Uh, this one's going to hopefully be a quick video because I just have one small thing to review. And it was something that I didn't plan on picking up, as always. But I found it at Target, thought I had to get it because I've become um, sort of Jason crazy, picking up all kinds of Jason Voorhees stuff. So I picked up NECA's Toonie Terror's Jason Voorhees action figure. And um, NECA's doing this whole new line of action figures that are sort of based on cartoons. Uh, they're look, made to look like they're sort of from Scooby-Doo, and obviously not licensed to Scooby-Doo. But... Um, actually, you've probably seen some artwork around the internet that looks a lot like this, and um, I was sort of on the fence of getting this stuff simply because I felt like NECA saw this artwork and decided to capitalize on it, which is not illegal because the uh, they changed a little bit of it. The artist didn't necessarily get the license to do the Scooby-Doo stuff, and there are several artists that are sort of doing that stylized version, but when you look at these and you look at the artwork you'll notice that they're very similar um, almost too similar and I feel sort of conflicted about it so I'm just going to point out the artist um, name and sort of give him a shout out and uh, you should go check out his stuff it's I B Trav the letter I the letter B T R A V look him up on Instagram on Facebook he has a, a website, ibtrav.com or ibtravart.com, I think, somewhere. You can just Google ibtravart, and you'll find it. He does really cool stylized artwork on cult classic movies, TV shows, um, just pop culture in general. He's a really fantastic artist. He started doing the um, Scooby-Doo cartoon panels with classic horror characters. So there's one with like Captain Spaulding, one with Jason, one with Freddy, Pennywise, that kind of stuff. Leatherface, and uh, it's made its way around the internet. It's very popular. So, like I said, uh, I feel sort of conflicted on this one because I feel like they did see his artwork and were influenced by it, and they should have contacted him and said, hey, you know, you want to work on something together instead of just basically capitalize on it. But they didn't do anything legally wrong, just morally, I feel conflicted. But it didn't stop me from buying this. I planned on not buying any of them. I was there at Target last week, and they had all of them but Jason, and then I went back last night to pick up something late night, and I found Jason, and I could not let him go. So, as you can see, the packaging's sort of cool. It looks like a marquee of the theater up here, and then it has, like, the posters on the sides. It has Friday the 13th on both sides here, and, you know, Toonie Terror is on the side, Jason Voorhees on the front, Toonie Terror is there. Friday 13th up top and the back is supposed to be let's see this Toonie Terrors bring the fun of Saturday morning cartoons to your horror collection with these adorable little creeps pick up your favorite or collect them all and make every day Toonie Terror time and uh, they made the, I don't really like the back it's supposed to be a backdrop for your character to stand in front of they did a little silhouette of Jason up there in the corner stand in front of it like we're idiots and we don't understand um not a big fan of it, to be honest. I sort of feel like the package is way too plain. And these are about, they run about 12 or $13, I think. Ironically, 13 But um, not a bad price. They're bigger than I thought they might be. So I'm just going to open it. I don't care. You know how I do it. I always open my figures. I'm going to put them on display in my, uh, my Jason shelf anyways. He's very simple. As you can see, he has one band across him. And I should have been a little more prepared on how I was going to get that off there. But you get to watch it now. I'm going to grab the clippers real quick. this just fantastic should have been a little more prepared but you know I'm not a pro anyways 
I'm gonna get this guy out of his plastic prison here so we can see him up close. Maybe. I'm failing so far. He only has one plastic tie, but he's, he's, there we go. That was easy once I pulled on it. Okay, let's see how this guy goes. I'm gonna raise the camera a little bit. That's much better. Okay, so the sculpt is really cool. He's got, he's like a caricature of Jason. He's got the very broad shoulders, very tiny legs, big feet the sort of sulking hand and if you look up Ivy Travis Trav's artworks like Travis Falligan Flanagan something uh Valiant something sorry Jason or Trav Travis but uh Jason you know is really cool I didn't really know if these would have any articulation it does have both arms and both legs which is very simple but it's obviously you know no mask the mask doesn't come off and one of the other cool things, he only comes with one accessory, but these things are supposed to be very simplistic cartoon versions of the characters. Um, and as I said, the first series is Jason, Freddy, and then, of course, if it's NECA, there's two versions of Pennywise. There's the Tim Curry version and then the new version. But I'm not going to start collecting these. I'm only going to pick up characters I really love. It looks like I think they're doing, like, Leatherface, probably, and... Um, they'll probably do, I guess, the alien, predator, and maybe, it'd be cool if they did like a Sam from Trick or Treat, because they have that license, or um, they live robots, they, they have a lot of potential because they have a lot of cool licenses. So yeah, I just noticed he has like a ball jointed neck too, and his, his machete is sort of done in an artsy style, so like the, what would be the reflections off the chrome are actually painted on there and um, yeah he stands pretty simply just got just the legs and then he stands voila it's pretty simple there's not much to it he's got sort of cartoony rips on his on his pants and on his you know there on his pants there on his shoulder um, you know ragged edges on the shirt the way the the, the one thing that People sort of pointed out on this one was the way the hand hung is exactly like Travis's artwork. So you be the judge, check it out, let me know what you think. But yeah, Toonie Terrors are sort of cool. Like like I said, not a line I plan on picking up. They run for about twelve bucks. These should be. I would when I started collecting these would have been like six bucks, but you know, times have changed. I need to get over it. So that's my quick unboxing review. I love it. Um, I love anything Jason, but these are really cool. So be on the lookout for them at collectible, collectible stores, your comic book shop, Target, and you can order them online too. So thanks for watching. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your support of the podcast.